I had a tremendous amount of fun researching this and I continue to do that. I've been writing about these backstories on my blog because oftentimes people will say to me, oh, is that a true story? And oh, I didn't know about that. And you know, the prostitutes and the typhoid and the tragedies and the Titanic and all of these different things. So I, I read a lot of scholarly material and a lot of um, diaries I've read and, and letters to different people. So it started really with my own family history, I think, because I had um, a great interest as a child in, in, well, where did we come from and how did we get here and so on. And in my family, everyone who was um, past a certain age didn't speak English very well because my parents came from um, families that had both originated in Ukraine. So for me, to learn my family history, it was difficult because, for one thing, there was the language barrier. And the other part of it was, it was hard. And you would ask two questions, you would get two answers. By the third question, that's enough is what you would get in a response because it was too painful for a lot of these stories to be told. So I had to learn them a little bit through my mom who is fabulous because she's a history fanatic and she has kept good records and she has passports and things and lots of information. And if you happen to be a family history enthusiast, you're all the richer for it because you have that perspective of what sacrifices were made so that we could be successful in our lives today.